back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for our favorite segment, Education Matters. We are here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you, Dr. Douglas? I'm well. Thank you, Colette. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here, Dr. Douglas. Now, in the past, we talked about the ongoing staffing shortages affecting schools right here in mid-Michigan and across the country. So today, we're talking about a program that may allow more people to become teachers, something our schools really need right now. So Dr. Douglas, tell us, what is that program? You're absolutely right. Desperate need right now for teachers in classrooms. And one approach for people who perhaps thought about teaching at one point but didn't go into it, maybe got a bachelor's degree, maybe worked in the field, uh, could have been an attorney, some other professional, but maybe has that pent up desire to teach. Yes. Well, there are programs, many programs available now for people that might be configured that way. It could even be for someone who has retired from one field with a bachelor's degree and is perhaps looking at a way to give back. And the program is called an accelerated certification pathway, also known as an alternative certification pathway. Simply put, Teachers are certified in order to be placed in classrooms. And in order to do that, that's many times a four or five year program as an undergraduate. Well, for those people who have already gained undergraduate degrees, they can seek certification through this accelerated or alternative pathway. It involves passing a competency test in one of the subject areas for the state of Michigan that's uh, recognized. It's abbreviated as MTTC. People can Google that and they'll find that's the Michigan Test for Teacher Certification. So let's say, for example, I'm a retiree. I was a math major in college but wasn't a certified teacher. I could write the mathematics test for either elementary or secondary and pass it and that would help qualify me for a program that's in this accelerated model. Then a criminal background check must be passed and an application must be made to one of several institutions offering it and the web is full of resources. The one I'm most familiar with is one that started when I was dean at Saginaw Valley State University, and that's called the ACR program, Accelerated Certification with Residency. And that program is still in operation. It's not the only one in existence, so I don't want to make this into a SVSU marketing campaign, mm -hmm. but it's one I'm most knowledgeable right. about, and it's very similar to others that are in existence. The residency piece, Colette, is yes. very unique in that uh, traditionally, uh, like myself, I graduated and, and student taught. Well, rather than student teaching, these candidates are placed in classrooms as residents, much like in a medical field where doctors become resident physicians, mm. these become resident teachers. They have their own classroom. That's great. Yeah. So it's a, a, an accelerated advanced student teaching experience. They still have a mentor teacher. Right. It's not like they're thrown into the pool and told to swim by themselves. They have a lot of support around them. But it's a great alternative and it's one that many people are interested in. When we started the program back in 2017, 18, we would hold information sessions and they were typically attended by a couple dozen or more uh, people that were interested. And I'm proud to say we did have candidates come through the program. They are now teaching, they're yeah. very successful, wow. and most of all, fulfilled. I love that, Dr. Douglas, that's a great option for people. Tell us, if those people, they're listening now, they're interested in this program, what do they need to know to apply? Well, I think they need to reflect upon their own desires and, and their own ability to commit to it because it is a, a full year program okay. and it's a commitment. In other words, you can't, uh, you can't keep your current job and do this residency. Um, in addition to having the classroom there are, and I probably should have touched on this earlier, there are rigorous courses that students take simultaneously. And these courses are offered electronically online and on weekends and at other venues to allow a candidate to be in a classroom and still take coursework. 
So that's the most important thing, is to reflect and say, do, do I have the time and resources for it? The idea of being in residency, yeah. in many cases, not all, but in many cases, candidates are able to be paid while they're, they're doing this. So that helps offset some of the tuition costs and allows them to put food on the table and still have a way of life while they go through it. I love it, Dr. Douglas, because we need more teachers and we appreciate our teachers. Thank you to all the teachers who are going through so much right now and helping our kids to get through this difficult time. And thank you, Dr. Douglas, for this valuable information. We appreciate you. Take care, Colette. Stay well. You as well, Dr. Douglas. Thank you so much. For more information, you can check out the school source page. That's at WNEM.com.